Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me. Please consider liking and subscribing. Today is a very special treat. This is an LG CX versus a Panasonic S60 Plasma. Both are mine. Both are my loves. These are the displays that I own and I am very proud of my plasma. It is not the top of the line plasma of that year. It was actually the lowest available display under the ST60, the VT60, and the ZT60. However, like OLEDs, even the lowest plasma was amazing. This video is for John Hooper, one of my favorite um, members of our little community who is a plasma guy. Shout out to John Hooper from Vienna. Thank you, John, for always being a positive part of our community. I had a lot of hate for doing these comparisons between Plasma and OLED um, because they don't feel it's a fair comparison. I disagree. I think OLED is the next level of Plasma. It is everything that I love about Plasma and why I always recommend people coming from Plasma go to OLEDs. Now they're both in their cinema preset. Motion has been disabled. I can make the OLED look punchier with dynamic contrast, things of that nature. The idea is to make them look as similar as possible. It's not about which is which and which is stronger. It's about how amazing they both are and how amazing Plasma still is and why so many people still favor the technology. You'll see me jumping from demo to demo. We are filming at 4K 60. You're going to see me jump around from demo to demo as a lot of these demos have the what's up next to the end of the cards, which actually disrupts our video and cuts it out. But we'll try and keep it as seamless as possible. I'm not editing here as we are at 4K 60 and my editing software does not cover it. HDR is not needed, so we are not filmed in HDR. So we'll try and cut this as close as we get to each end of video. These are typically LG demos. It is not meant to show the weaknesses or strengths of either. It is to show you how amazing they both are and how legendary Plasma is. They're both an expert warm two settings. they both look fantastic obviously the plasma is in 1080p they're both being split through the Panasonic UB820 I had to rewind the demo so there might be a little hiccup in there My favorite demos on YouTube is the glass blowing demo. Now, unfortunately, like I was mentioned with the end credits that a lot of creators put on our ending screens, it actually disrupts the video. It comes in about 15 seconds before the video ends. So I try to stop these videos before we get there. The plasma is about as bright as it can get. The OLED can become brighter, but the idea was not to make them look dissimilar, but to make them look as close to being accurate as possible. ISF dark was a preset that I was going to use, but it made the image too dark and muted. We're actually going to run that one again and let the aperture be more normal on the camera because it ends up crushing blacks too much. The brightness of the room plays a factor here as the camera, as you can see in the edges, is trying to capture, but it was crushing the blacks too much. Let the camera normalize and then you have the blacks back. There you go. 
that where it doesn't crush the blocks. On LEDs, um, you try to keep the blooming from getting out of control, but the aperture goes haywire. But on OLEDs, you really don't have to. There you go. The apps are, the blacks are more apparent. But you can see the dithering around the room. That's why I try to keep things under control. Now my favorite chest demo here, you're going to have to let the aperture fly a little bit. It'll be super bright and then it'll normalize. There it is. Again, we're filling 4K60. This might cut me off. It'll be a very short video. The cameras don't record very long at 4K60. So I'll say goodbye now. Thank you as always. I will see you in the comments. Hope everybody is doing well. And we will finish with this one. Panasonic.